you know, can't underscore the, 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 the Heinz Field element of this matchup, man. I'm excited about being in Heinz Field and having Steeler Nation uh, support us. And it's going to be awesome uh, to have 65, 70,000 supporters in the home environment this week. I think it be, could be significant in terms of trying to slow down their pace and some of the things that they do. And the Steelers are getting ready for their home opener at Heinz Field on Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's time for Tomlin Tuesday, and we're going to start this week with four injuries. Coach Tomlin said to watch during the week, and practice picks up tomorrow at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. The first one, Joe Hayden, in-game injury with a hamstring. David DeCastro fractured his hand. Tyson Alualu is dealing with a shoulder injury. And Ben Roethlisberger is dealing with an elbow injury. I know number seven is the one everybody wants to know about. Coach Tomlin did caution, however, that Ben is usually limited in the early portions of the week. But here's everything that was asked about Ben and what Coach Tomlin had to say. Just the bumps and bruises associated with play. That was the post-game if you will, we'll see how he is tomorrow morning and let that be our guide. It's just full disclosure from my part, just because I know that you guys will ask. Is there any reason to suspect that Ben's elbow problem affected ball security or his ability to throw the ball? No. When you do say Ben's uh, elbow is, you know, bumps and bruises situation associated with football, does that indicate that he should be good for Sunday's game? Guys, I, I outlined it. You know, it may limit his participation at the early portions of the week, and we'll let that be our guide as we move forward. All right, so that's the very latest and everything you need to know about Ben Roethlisberger. In terms of Joe Hayden, did not finish the game. Cam Sutton filled in for him and was tested by former Steelers offensive coordinator Todd Haley. He gave up a touchdown to Josh Gordon, but being a good defensive back, forgot about that play and then made a nice interception just a few plays later. That was the first interception of his career. And if you remember back to 2017, that was his rookie year. He started on IR, but actually played in some big game situations, took over for Cody Sensible in the second half of the Cincinnati game in Cincinnati and even started against the New England Patriots. So again, we'll keep an eye on all four of those guys that Coach Tomlin mentioned. He was asked about tight end Vance McDonald if he had a setback last week. Coach Tomlin simply said no, but the Steelers did rule out McDonald on Friday. Did not play in Cleveland, another guy that we'll watch this week. There's much more coming up from Coach Tomlin's press conference. Quick hits right after the break. All right, we already talked about injuries, so time for quick hits from Coach Tomlin's press conference, catching you up on everything else you need to know about. We talked a lot about James Conner and his first start in the NFL on Monday. Almost 200 yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns. Today, Coach Tomlin said he thought he was in great physical condition, and that really showed in that game in Cleveland, and that he's not overly concerned about the heavy workload. Man, I watched that guy tote that ball a lot next door. Um, I think he's been doing that for a long time. I think he's used to that. I think he gets better with use. I think that was one of the things that was attractive about him. I know, what was that, his sophomore year, I think, when he scored all those touchdowns. I mean, he likes to carry the football. Uh, he warms up to it. All right, and James Conner will continue doing that this week. Just a quick update on running back Le'Veon Bell. Coach Tomlin said there have been no recent conversations between him and Bell and no clarity just yet on when he will return to Pittsburgh. He said, as he stated last week, he will keep everybody posted. And of course, to reiterate, Coach Tomlin it said it depends on what kind of condition physically and mentally Bell comes to Pittsburgh in. In terms of second round draft pick James Washington, one of those exciting guys that everybody really liked during the preseason and training camp and wanted to see in the game. All of the Steelers wide receivers and running backs were active on Sunday, but Washington only played 11 snaps. Here's more from Tomlin. What happened for him Sunday is no reflection of the trajectory of his career, whether it was positive or negative. I think it's important that young guys just wipe the slate clean, man, and, and clock in and, and come to work each and every day and don't overanalyze the here and the now. Um, because the reality is, in the big scheme of things, he's been here a very short period of time. I know it seems like he's been here a long time for him. Uh, he just needs to keep coming to work, as does all the others. 
All right, it's not breaking news that TJ Watt and Bud Dupree have flip-flopped sides. And of course, five of the Steelers' seven sacks in Cleveland came from those two, four from TJ Watt. Coach Tomlin was asked about the adjustment and what he's seen so far from the two young outside linebackers. We're going to ask those guys to be versatile and to move around. You nail those guys down as young people so they can get muscle memory associated with skill development at their positions. But as they get older, we'll move, continually move them around. It provides flexibility for us. It's more that our opponents have to work on. It's not earth shattering, um, but in terms of that tandem, it is new for us because we're acknowledging that they're becoming veteran players and we are more willing to ask them to do new and different things. All right, going back to the fourth quarter in Cleveland, the Steelers are up 21 to 7 at this time. Jordan Berry with the punt. Sean Davis very vocal in the Steelers locker room yesterday that it was deflected off of Browns running back Nick Chubb. That was not the ruling on the field. New York even reviewed it. The replay official, though, did not overturn it, and a lot of players saying that could have potentially been a turning point for the Steelers. But it ended up in a tie. Don't forget, tomorrow, Steelers resume practice here at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Typically, when we get a chance to hear from quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, much more coming up on Steelers Live tomorrow. But that's it for Tomlin Tuesday. I'm Missy Matthews. We'll see you tomorrow.